the drill at the yard. Pretty convenient. Well, it's right here. It froze last night. Minus two. Not cold enough to really hurt anything. The peas and wheat are up, but it's very small still, so hopefully it doesn't hurt it too bad. If the crop was a little bit bigger and it got colder, like um, like minus five, six, seven, then it could do some major damage. Phil and my dad, he's seeding. And then I'm getting ready to go spraying once it warms up. This is our second go round of wheat. We put some canola in. We're about two thirds done seeding. So this wheat is not treated. I know, I know. It should be okay. So we're just loading straight from the bin. Not treated. Starbuck wheat. You can get more in the tank that way. Get more heated out per tank. I waited a little while, it's not best spraying if it's gonna freeze that night or the night after, but I waited a little bit. The plants need to be actively growing in order to take up the herbicide. But I'm behind with the sprayer, so I need to get going. I had to seed some fields that weren't sprayed yet, so I need to keep the sprayer rolling. This was me being a dummy and leaving my uh, master ply on when I was pulling out on the road so the road might die a little bit there. I want to see something cool that's almost like magic. I was spraying authority and I did one pass here and you can see a line where the sprayer went and where it missed. Look at that. That's kosher coming. Did one pass along the outside here. I only had a little bit in the tank here. That's where it wasn't sprayed. This is why farmers spray their fields. Look at that line. That's crazy. That's crazy that it works that well. This is the next field. So I'm gonna get this again here. So I'm just scouting ahead in the scouting truck. Look at that. Wow. Perfect spring for authority because it needs moisture to activate and then it holds this kosher back. Should have done more. Next is I'm checking these peas, which I think look really good. They are three weeks old. No sign of frost damage. Yeah, these were seeded at the end of April 29th, I think here. So they're nice and thick. Yeah, they look really good. This field was rolled. That's why it is like nice and flat. I have to cut the peas low to the ground. We roll all the peas and then we roll uh, well, wheat and canola too, just depending on the field and how many rocks are there. And there it is, the plugged run. I remember I had one. I don't know how long this went on for, hopefully not long. There's just a bad spot in the hose that it was building up in. Frick. This is our first wheat field. Seeded just over two weeks ago. Wheatland, hard red spring wheat. It was treated. It's nice and thick. Yeah, it looks good. Showers rolling through. I can't spray because it rains every hour. So I'm scouting. And by the time we're done seeding, this field will be ready to be sprayed again with the in-crop application because it is in the two-leaf stage already. Sunny to the north, showering here, filling the drill again. 
untreated. Showers rolling through all day long. I gotta get a spare tank out tonight. The grass has never looked better. How's everyone's lawns looking? Mine looks fantastic. I got my lawnmower oh, feeling up right there. Ready. Gotta cut it every other day. And I locked the remote for the electric opener for old schooling. I have to run down and press the close button when it gets full. It's terrible. I can just sit up here and close the chute and watch it. No good. I have no idea where it is. Checked every truck, every jacket, lunch kit. It's gone. It's wet out here. It's wet. Every night. Every night a little shower goes through. Fields are wet. Got canola seated here. But it's cold. And the canola is just sitting here. Waiting for it to warm up. Just cracked. See up there? Just cracked. Warmer weather next week, low 20s. Once that warm weather hits, then the canola will, will get going. Can't start real early with the drill because it's wet. Can't seed in the mud. The grass is wet. The shoes are wet. Want to get water. Keep that full so that I can spray it ready. It's crazy to think that early in the spring we were unsure where we were even going to get water for the sprayer. We set the pump up here because there's a it's a little dugout there and there's a little bit of water in the middle so that's where we put the filter. But now the whole thing is filled up. And it's wet down here. Well this is where we got the best water so this is our one of two filling locations. We were unsure if they would even get us by Freeburn and uh, didn't know what we are going to do for in-crop timing, but that problem is solved now. I have enough for three spare tanks on, that's all I need, or else I won't get out of here. The trailer's sinking in a bit and the road's greasy, but the black stallion should get me home. Bigger L340 going in. Hi. 
Tracker wheels are just full of mud. I don't know how much scrapers would help on a year like this year. Maybe a little bit. We had scrapers on the old drill. Put a fertilizer on this turn. Had scrapers on the old drill, but they never saw any mud because it was dry. And then uh, that guy got traded. So I haven't really uh, tried the scrapers out. sample because I'm on a corner on a hill we did take another shim out so we got one shim it's running on one shim and then put the mid-row banders on one shim deeper that's hole two of the golf course green two yeah that's that That's the green, and the tee box is right, right there, 125 yards. Just a nice wedge. My dad's good for about five hours. Will be good for this entire field, about 200 acres actually. So I'm going spraying, and then he'll end up uh, coming over to where I'm going. I'm almost done my pre-burn. Uh, round of spraying, I have four, yeah, four tanks left. Where is he? He probably, he probably started at the north end. Yeah, can't see him. He's at, he's on the other side of the field. this field early in the April with authority already that's why there's no kosha growing here some over there where I didn't spray so that's what I'm trying to get now into the field there. I'm out of water. Sprayer's full. That is coming this way. Plus it's getting a little windy. Plus uh, canola is too shallow. Gonna put it a little bit deeper. He's good there. That doesn't look good. trailer it's still full. get ready for the next batch another shower coming I knew it was gonna hit it's not the best filling the drill when it's showering but I think it's almost over filling in the rain what we didn't want to do but I guess we'll see if we plug up it's kind of off and on it's not too bad 